That gay marriage bill that cleared a key hurdle in the Senate today in a bipartisan fashion. 62 senators voted for the Respect for Marriage Act, which would protect gay marriage rights nationwide. For more now, let's bring in the bill's author, Senator Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin, who also happens to be the first openly gay U.S. senator. Senator, thanks so much for joining us tonight. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Tonight, millions of Americans may sleep just a bit easier knowing that one day soon their marriage will be protected under law regardless of who they love and where they live. Uh, this, of course, was personal for you because when you arrived in the Senate, gay marriage was not a right granted to all Americans. But just in your 10 years in the Senate, we've seen that change. And now this. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling very heartened by our strong bipartisan vote to advance to the bill. And I would say that you know, not only uh, has a lot changed since I joined the United States Senate, but um, recognition of families and allowing families in the LGBTQ community to protect themselves through uh, the laws of marriage has been something that we've been working on for so long. And it was wonderful to have the Supreme Court in 2015 uh, decide in a case called Obergefell that marriage equality was the law of the land. But we know um, from this past summer that precedent is not always permanent. And the uh, decision overturning Roe versus Wade put a lot of other consequential Supreme Court cases um, you know, in question, including uh, the Loving case that guaranteed uh, the right to um, have interracial couples could marry, and the Obergefell case that guarantees marriage equality for those in the LGBTQ community. So today's vote um, would have been almost unthinkable just a few years back, uh, but we now are at the stage where Americans um, embrace uh, uh, the, uh, the the idea of marriage equality, and uh, and now the Senate um, is adding these protections. And, and you just mentioned this, Senator. Of course, this summer after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, it was Justice Clarence Thomas who, who suggested that the court should revisit other prior decisions like gay marriage. Did you feel that without taking this action, that gay marriage was in real jeopardy? So I can tell you that um, I have talked with so many um, married couples who were literally uh, shaken to the core, frightened. Um, many I know have been um, fighting for uh, the right to protect their families for years, for decades. And uh, the peace of mind that Obergefell uh, provided that, um, you know, we think oftentimes of the word marriage and we think about weddings and ceremonies and solemnization, but frankly, it's the rights, responsibilities, obligations, and benefits that flow from marriage that was so uh, hard fought for. And so protecting those, uh, those rights and responsibilities is absolutely key. And I knew many, many uh, uh, of the probably million uh, uh, same-sex couples who are married in America who have been very fearful about the uh, the certainty of their marriages moving forward. So what does this mean at this point, once the law is passed? Would the Supreme Court not be able to reverse its decision? Well, I wish that were the case. Um, but as we saw, uh, just having, um, uh, you know, longstanding precedent isn't enough. And, and the court in uh, the uh, Dobbs case overturning Roe versus Wade really uh, eviscerated many of the uh, legal principles upon which the um, loving interracial marriage decision was based and um, the Obergefell same-sex marriage case were decided. And so there was a lot of concern, a lot of fear uh, that if there was a case challenging Obergefell or loving, um, that people could lose the certainty of their marriages. What this Respect for Marriage bill would do is provide certainty that if you are in uh, a marriage that was valid uh, when entered into in a, a state that recognizes it, that it will be recognized both by the federal government and every other state. In the past or, or going forward, is this something that's just grandfathered in? This is something that... It, deals with both marriages that have already been entered into,
but also would be prospective. Um, what would not be the case is that uh, that every state would be mandated to recognize, uh, I'm sorry, mandated to offer uh, a same-sex marriage. In other words, a state, sadly like my own in Wisconsin, where there was a state constitutional amendment adopted in 2006 defining marriage as a, a, an institution between a man and a woman, um, that there would be no mandate uh, as there is now with Obergefell moving forward to change that. And this, as we well know, it was a rare bipartisan vote in the Senate. Yes. Does this bring you hope that this same spirit of collaboration might be able to be applied to, to passing other legislation with your Republican colleagues? Well, absolutely. And there have been, uh, you know, even in these very divided political times, a number of uh, measures that have been the result of hard work across the aisle, uh, whether that's the bipartisan infrastructure law or the um, the, the Gun Safety Community uh, Safety Act or uh, the Respect for Marriage Act that we're looking at right now. Um, and I can tell you that it was um, an honor to work across the aisle uh, with colleagues committed to advancing this legislation. And um, uh, I, I think that um, this process can absolutely work. Senator Tammy Baldwin, we thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.